How's it going, everyone? It is being reported by Tom Silverstein that the Packers are planning to release linebacker Devondre Campbell come Wednesday when the new league officially starts. Now, by doing this and waiting till Wednesday, they'll be able to put a June 1st designation on his release, which will allow the Packers to save $10.5 million to their cap room. Currently, the Packers are sitting, according to Over the Cap, at $13.6 million under the cap. So with Devondre Campbell being released on or tagged with a post-June 1st designation, they'll be able to save $10.5 million. Now, if they didn't do that and didn't give them the post-June 1st designation, they'd only save $2.6 million. So that date right there, Wednesday, is actually a very key part to save a lot of money. And also with that, it also alleviates a lot of the dead cap that we would incur. So if we didn't have a post June 1st designation on Devondre Campbell, we would absorb a $11.6 million dead cap penalty this year, then a $7.9 million cap penalty in the year 2025 and a $4.3 million cap hit in 2026, according to Over the Cap. Now, with the Packers going with the post June 1st cut designation, they'll only incur a $3.65 million dead cap hit from the years 2024, 2025, and 2026, and only 657,000 dead cap hit in the year 2027. So significantly less than if they didn't go this route. Now, it's very expected that we were going to release Devondre Campbell with the team kind of going younger, and he was very injured last year, and he kind of didn't fully fit potentially Jeff Halfley's system. But with this move, I also feel like, and it's highly expected of the Packers, and I do feel like the Packers are going to be very big and active in this free agency to go after a safety since the safety list is very huge and we could get a good veteran safety or potentially two high quality veteran safeties for a good chunk of money to where it's not going to entirely break the bank. But this also allows the Packers to have some wiggle room and not be so tight against the cap. And still, we haven't even exhausted all of our options like cutting Bakhtiari or extending some other players to alleviate the cap room. So there's still a lot of other moves in play, but we're not kicking the can down the road more than we have to currently. So that's very good to see. But just coming out with an update that the Packers are apparently planning to release Devondre Campbell. And starting tomorrow, Monday, teams will be able to negotiate with free agents. They can't officially sign them unless they've already been cut by the previous teams, but they will be able to negotiate. So it's going to be interesting how these next couple of days go and how active the Packers actually plan on being, especially in such a deep safety market. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, go Pack Go!